Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 10th of July 1940, the Vichy government was established in France after the National Assembly approved a new French constitutional law that granted full powers to Marshal Pétain. France declared war against Germany on the 3rd of September, two days after the Nazi invasion of Poland. Despite being at war, however, the two countries only experienced minor skirmishes in early September. This period of little military action, which became known as the Phony War, was followed eight months later by a full-scale German invasion of France that began on the 10th of May. The French were overwhelmed by the Nazi war machine and were soon forced to decide whether to continue the fight while the government relocated to North Africa or remain in France and seek an armistice. Eventually, the cabinet agreed to seek an armistice, which was signed on the 22nd of June in Compiègne Forest. This had been the location for the November 1918 armistice that Germany had signed to end the Great War, and the location was specifically chosen by Hitler as a form of revenge. The railway carriage in which the 1918 ceasefire had been agreed was even brought from a museum to host the discussions. The French decision to sign an armistice led to the resignation of Prime Minister Paul Renault, who was replaced by First World War hero Marshal Philippe Pétain. Two-fifths of France had been designated unoccupied under the terms of the armistice, and its administrative centre lay in the city of Vichy. However, the government nominally ruled the German-occupied areas as well. The French state officially collaborated with Nazi Germany from the 30th of October, when Pétain announced the policy in a radio broadcast. The new provisional government of the French Republic was established on the 3rd of June 1944, following the Allied liberation. 